For example, to enhance the data collection on national and local level, we have developed SDG India Index and Dashboard using a globally accepted methodology after extensive consultations with civil society. We have charted out an STI for SDG roadmaps in India, which will focus on four SDGs, that is SDG 2, namely agriculture and nutrition, SDG 3, namely health and well-being, SDG 6, water and sanitation, and SDG 7, affordable and clean energy. India is tapping into low-carbon sunrise sectors, new technology frontiers such as green hydrogen, new business models such as digitalized services and EV charging, new construction materials like low-carbon uh, cement and recycled plastic, as well as promoting circular economy and new practices for sustainable agriculture and food system. We have some of the largest, fastest growing programs for climate adaptation, mitigation and resilience. India ranks fourth in terms of the installed renewable energy, installed wind energy capacity and fifth in solar, an increase of 13 times in the last six years under Prime Minister Modi. Share of non-fossil sources in India's installed capacity of electricity has grown to more than 38%, that is 38%. We would like to visualize ourselves as an inspiration for clean energy transition across the world. Transfer of green technologies and know-how is keen to enhancing adaptation and mitigation measures. Global action on climate change is contingent on the delivery of finance. The commitment of the goal of US $100 billion dollars per year by 2020 committed by 12 countries has not yet been met. However, the challenges lie in the access to viable cutting-edge technologies at affordable costs. Technological innovations are now impacting every facet of human life, be it the health, the livelihood, the education, transport or entertainment. Apart from enhancing inclusion, transparency and efficiency in services provided by the government, technology can be used also to shape a digital public goods ecosystem that enables private companies and startups to innovate the grassroots. <clears throat> Being a global leader in IT and software, ladies and gentlemen, through transformative policies under Digital India program, India under Prime Minister Modi has been successful in delivering people-centric solutions. India now has over a billion bank accounts, including more than 300 million Jan Dhan bank accounts for citizens left out earlier. 1.25 billion persons with Aadhaar, a unique national digital identity, and more than 1.2 billion mobile subscribers. The combination of Jan Dhan, Aadhaar, and mobile, popularly known as JAM, the JAM Trinity, has transformed access to government service and taken social benefits to more than a billion persons in India, including those who are residing in the remotest of the remotest locations. Through these public digital reforms, ladies and gentlemen, India has conclusively demonstrated the effectiveness of digital public goods, that the DPG is a shared national resource. During the pandemic, we have seen how science and technology have had a direct tangible impact on lives, right from developing vaccine to delivering them. Made in India vaccine have enabled us to run one of the world's largest vaccination programs, under which we have administered, administered 1.8 billion doses of the COVID-19 vaccine till date, while supplying 167 million COVID doses to the other developing countries. COVID app developed in India, which is open platform for management, registration, appointment, scheduling, managing, vaccination, and certification, has helped to integrate, integrate the entire gamut of services related to COVID-19 vaccination type. By enabling effective monitoring of utilization and coverage of vaccination, COVID has also helped us reduce wastage and allocate our resources in an optimal manner. Digital vaccination certificates are instantly available to the citizens. Under the South-South Cooperation, India has been sharing its experience and experiences with developed partners around the world. Honorable Prime Minister Shri Narendra Modi has already announced India's readiness to make COVID platform available globally for the interested countries. Strengthen technological cooperation between member states through transfer of technology and capacity building is, I must say, the key to deliver on the promises of sustainable development. 